842 right now. So animal shelter volunteers, they are demanding better conditions for dogs that are in shelters in Claremont County. Some are even calling on the county to get out of the shelter business altogether. Earlier this month, Fox 19 investigates looked into volunteers claims of overcrowding, alleged financial mismanagement and dog dogs kept in kennels for up to 22 hours a day. At the time, commissioners told us they were working to make facility improvements and plan to hire more shelter management. But at yesterday's Claremont County Commissioner's meeting, volunteers said the conditions have not gotten any better. With feces in their kennels, dogs are fed dinner and forced to sleep in the same place. The ceiling has what appears to be mold and mildew growing and could be a direct correlation as far as why 21 of our current dogs on site have had respiratory illnesses in the last seven months, not including those ha that have gone to rescue, not including those that have been adopted. So volunteers now saying that they've collected more than 3,000 signatures supporting the construction of a new county animal shelter. Fox 19 now, we've been reaching out to the board president, David Painter. He says the county is in the process of making building improvements and adding more outdoor kennels. Kicking it with Ken is sponsored by AE Door and Window. Alrighty, so this weekend, the African American Chamber of Commerce celebrating its 28th year in a very big way. The organization has been helping to drive economic growth, innovation, and community development since 1996. Ken is there now with a preview of the big celebration set for this weekend. Hi, Ken. <laughs> Julie, look at my dog. It's like got the shortest little legs ever, but I mean, at least I tried, right? <laughs> so African American Chamber of Commerce. Yes. Uh, what do you guys do? Where are you located? Yes, so we're located at 2303 Gilbert Avenue. Yes. Um, in the Walnut Hills okay. community. And, you know, we mentioned the African American Chamber is a historic organization. We're the largest black chamber in Ohio. Wow. Isn't that great? That yeah. is, and impressive. we serve a large area, 17 Kentucky. Our Founders Day event. Okay. Which uh, is tomorrow? Which is tomorrow okay. from 12 to 4. Okay. We want to share some of the products that will be featured by our sponsors. Okay. Uncle Nearest, um, a black owned distillery in Tennessee. Okay. That everyone knows their bourbon. Let's go. Let's and see. So we we give a it a try? Taste. We're going to say cheers, cheers for Founders Day. It's tea. I'm, it really is. It's tea. Yeah. They didn't want to open this. <laughs> Everyone at that station was like, oh my God, Ken. All right. Uh, this is uh, fascinating. And we're going to talk to yes. this guy the next hour. Right. He made his own water and he's right here from Cincinnati, right? He is. Right? He is. Well, well you are so really impressed. Make water, but you right. bottle it, right? So he can bottle it. He okay. can purify it. So we were very pleased that he's donating water for our event tomorrow. And well. we got a shout out to the, the balloon parlor behind yes. us. Yes. To Shonda Wooten of the balloon parlor. Thank you. Client. Let's talk and to so, the people at home. People like her. Like okay, if they have their it. little business inside their kitchen, right. how can you help just get them oh, out thank there? Thank you for asking that. Yeah. So we do meet businesses where they are. Mm -hmm. We help them grow and develop, connect to resources, access to capital, um, just organically help them plan and grow. So that's something we do as business counselors. The African American Chamber can get them certified with the state and with the city of Cincinnati and we are very well funded by the state of Ohio, the city of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. I love it. And then yeah. this Grater's ice cream, of course everyone loves Grater's, right? Yes. Are they they're part of the sponsorship too? They are. We are excited that they have donated quite a few of these little pints and mm -hmm. my daughters love this flavor. Yeah. And it's fun. I love it. Let's mm -hmm. show them what the party's gonna look like tomorrow. Let's go. <laughs> right this way. <laughs> Do you Jordan, Julie, what about this? Right, what are we doing as we're I'm about to Wait a second. I forgot he DJ Ken. <laughs> hey, Ken, maybe, get, get, maybe get behind the women so I'm you can it. follow what they're doing. <laughs> I, that's I'm what I need to do, that. for real. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> I say none of us are going the right way. Oh, little baby. Oh, that little baby rocking, too. 
that reminds me of a wedding reception I went to. That, it does. That yes. Went, that went awry. <laughs> oh, it went awry. They always play that song, though, I want to say. Yeah. dancing there. Yes. yes. Super fun. Hey, uh, have fun with the big celebration. Yeah, I love that. that. Was fun, love that. Congratulations. 28 years. <sighs> yeah, yeah, doing big things. But uh, also, too, we want to talk about the fact that, Catherine, I know you've been tracking those storms this morning. Are yeah. they are they kind of breaking up a little bit? They are. Moving? Okay. Which is good news. Yes. You know, I was really happy 